My name is Peter, some of you may know me as I know, and I'm a dev for Kingdom. Instead of making a big flashy trailer to try to sell the project, we thought we'd just use this video as a way to explain very honestly what this project is and where it's at. Tug is an open world survival sandbox inspired by Minecraft, but really it's a lot more about the amazing things people created inside of it. Some of the things we personally loved were Tekkit, Aether, and Thongcraft, so expect some of those influences to pop up during development. There's also a bit of inspiration from more traditional games like EVE Online, Zelda, and Monster Hunter, although some of those inspirations probably aren't that obvious as early in development. The entire world is interactive, which is something voxels help a great deal with, but disregard the blocks, those things are pretty temporary. This game is really about experimentation and getting a sense of the world around you. The experience certainly isn't perfect yet, but it gets better with each update, and although things are a bit crude, you can currently explore an infinite world, harvest materials, craft, cook, and hunt some pretty dumb AI. There are a few things that we have planned for the future of the game, like programmable golems, logic gates, magic, and some interesting character development. But this project is really about working with the community to find out what tools and features are most important going forward. We know what we like as gamers and developers, but we don't pretend to know what every mod or server owner needs, so we also keep an open line of communication with content creators. We have been building our engine from scratch with the exception of Havoc, and an update hits about every four to six weeks with new features and performance enhancements. Sometimes an update may take a couple of months if it's something pretty big. In these cases, we make it a priority to give the community a heads up. The project has been in public development a little over a year, concluding our Kickstarter campaign, and we have made communication a part of our DNA. Building an entire engine from the ground up certainly can be a lot of work, but it has a lot of long-term advantages. Using a pre-made engine like Unity is great for making a game, but since we are making a platform for creation as much as a game, it was important that we built tools and systems that made the most sense for the project. The game is far from complete, but there is a typical creative mode, crude multiplayer PvP mode, and a first iteration of survival, which for now is a single player experience. Our focus in development right now is about expanding on survival, which means building new tools and finishing our networking architecture. We really want the world to have its own narrative, so we think a lot about the intent of everything we put inside of it, where those things go, its impact on the ecology, and how it may change the way people play. The game and tech being early in development is also why we're only asking $10, and not the price of a full game. We feel it justifies the work so far, and when it's further along with development, the price will raise here and there. Your support of the project helps keep us independent, and supporting the project early also saves you a few bucks, since all the updates are free. And every penny earned in development through alpha and beta goes right back into the game, not our pockets. You're putting your support into what we're building, so that is where your support will go. Now, before deciding to buy the game and supporting us, please be aware that for now, we are only supporting DX11. So be sure that your hardware can support the game and not just your operating system. But this will change with time, so if you also want to support us to help things along, that'd be pretty great. Make no mistake of it, sometimes things are going to be broken, buggy, or have some terrible performance issues. This is just part of the process, and a lot of the reason we are in early access in the first place. Feedback from the community really helps us understand how the engine is running across a lot of different hardware, and it'll only get smoother with time. If you like what we are doing, please consider supporting the project and sharing with your friends. And if you have any questions about the tech, design, or research, feel free to reach out or hit us up on Twitter, at Nerd Kingdom. There are also a few useful links below for anyone interested and knowing more about the project or wanting to keep up with development.